डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू वी टी यू ई शिक्षण प्रोग्राम फोर आई एम डॉक्टर वी रामचंद्र मूर्ति प्रोफेसर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड ऑल्सो हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बेसिक साइंसेस आर आर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी चिकबाणावर बैंगलोर फर्स्ट ऑफ आल ई वुड लाइक टू थैंक द अथारीटीज ऑफ वी टी यू for identifying me as one of the subject experts to take classes on module 4 of third semester mathematics with the title transform calculus four year series and numerical techniques bearing code 18 mat 31 i also take this opportunity to thank our honorable management principal rrit for their constant encouragement support in all our academic activities let me begin my session with introduction to differential equations what is a differential equation a differential equation <coughs> is an equation involving differential coefficients or differentials so differential equation it is an equation first of all differential differential equation differential equation it is an equation it is an equation involving involving differential coefficients differential coefficients <coughs> coefficients are differentials are differentials are differentials <coughs> so let me give examples of differential equation example example what <coughs> e power x dx is equal to sin y into d sin y d is a differential equation <coughs> dq y by dx q plus d square y by dx square plus y is equal to e power x into sin x is another differential equation y is equal to x into dy by dx plus x divided by dy by dx is another differential equation 1 plus dy by dx the whole square raised to the power 3 by 2 is equal to a into d square y by dx square is another differential equation <coughs> x into do u by do x plus y into do u by do y is equal to 4 into u is another differential equation <coughs> 6 do square v by do x square plus do square plus do square v by do x square plus do square v by do x square is equal to 0 is another differential equation all these differential equations can take <coughs> differential coefficients so as you see here there are two types of differential equations equations 1 to 4 belongs to one category and equations 5 and 6 belongs to another category okay so <coughs> this differential equation can be classified into two types ordinary differential equation 
and partial differential equation. So what is partial differential equation? Ordinary differential equation. Ordinary differential equation. Differential equation. Ordinary differential equation. And partial differential equation. Partial differential equation. Partial differential equation differential equation partial differential equation ordinary differential equation is a differential equation in which all the differential coefficients have reference with respect to a single independent variable whereas the partial differential equation is a differential equation involving two or more independent variables and all partial derivatives <coughs> are with respect to one of them are with respect to r. So for example, 1 to 4 are the ordinary differential equation, 5 and 6 are the partial differential equations. Then, having defined ODE and PDC, this can be in short called as ODE and in short partial differential equation can be written as PDE. Okay. So, having defined ordinary differential equation and partial differential equation, let me define order and degree of the differential equation. Order and degree order and degree of the differential equation. Order and degree. What is the order of the differential equation? Order of the differential equation is the order of the highest derivative that occur in it and degree of the differential equation is the degree of the highest derivative that occur in it after expressing it free from radicals and fractions as far as the derivatives are concerned. <coughs> For example, 1 is an ordinary differential equation of order 1 and degree 1. Example 2 is an ordinary differential equation of order 3 and degree 1. Uh, example 3 contains a fraction but that has to be removed. So, multiply through all multiply 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 throughout by dy by dx you get y into dy by dx is equal to x into dy by dx the whole square plus x now this is free from fraction and this is an example of ordinary differential equation of order 1 and degree Similarly, example 4 contains a square root radical, so that has to be removed to judge its degree. So, squaring both sides, squaring both sides, so 4 can be written as 1 plus dy by dx whole square raised to the power 3 whole cube whole cube is equal to a square d square y by dx square whole square. A square d square y by dx square whole square. So squaring both sides. Squaring both sides. So this is order differential equation of order 2 and degree 2. So example 5 is a partial differential equation of order 1 and degree 1. Example 6 partial differential equation of order 2 and degree 2. So, having defined arguments, let me define the general nth order ordinary differential equation.
general and third are the most general. The most general. The most general. Nth order. Nth order. Ordinary differential equation. So ODH stands for ordinary differential equation. <coughs> is of the form. Is of the form. The most general nth order ordinary differential equation is of the form. Find of x comma y dy by dx d square by by dx square etc etc dn by by dx equal to all this x all this x the general solution of one the general solution general solution of one is of the form is of the form sine of x comma y comma c1 comma c2 etc etc cn equal to zero. The general solution. <coughs> what what do you mean by solution first of all? Solution of a differential equation is a relation between the variables that satisfies the differential equation. A general solution is the one in which the number of arbitrary constants is equal to order of the differential equation. So there are n constants and order of the differential equation is n. So this is a general solution of the differential equation one. If the values are specified to C1, C2, Cn, then the resulting solution will be particular solution. If particular values are given, <coughs> if particular particular values are if particular values are given to the constants are given to the constants that is C1, C2, C are given to the constants. Then the resulting solution, then the resulting solution, resulting solution is called is called as a particular solution. Is called as a particular solution. Particular solution. <coughs> okay. Okay. So to get to obtain to obtain a particular solution from two to obtain a particular solution particular solution. From the general solution to we must be given n conditions. From two, we must be given. We must be given n conditions. N conditions. We must be given n conditions. If all the n conditions are specified at a single value of x, then the problem is called initial value problem. If all the conditions, if all the conditions, if all the conditions are specified, are specified at a single value of x, at a single single value of x then the problem is called then the problem is called 
as an initial value problem as an initial initial value problem initial value problem so that we write it as id initial value problem for example for example for example y dash is dy by dx y dash plus y is equal to e power minus s with y is equal to 1 at x is equal to 0 is an example of initial value problem on the other hand if the conditions are specified at more than one value of x then the problem is called boundary value problem if, if the conditions if the conditions if the conditions are specified specified at more than one value of x more than one value of x then then the problem is called then the problem is called a boundary value problem problem is called as a boundary value problem boundary boundary value problem boundary value problem so this we write it as bv boundary value problem for example for example for example y double dash plus y is equal to e power minus x e power minus x with conditions y of 0 is equal to 1 and y of 1 is equal to 2 <coughs> y of 0 the y 1 at x is equal to 0 y 2 at x is equal to 1 so to two different values of x so this is an example of boundary value b boundary value so in your course you will be solving numerically only the initial value initial value okay having defined all this let me come to the numerical solution of the order of the equation in particular again here the numerical solution of a differential equation so this is the topic we are interested in numerical solution numerical solution of ordinary differential equation numerical solution of ordinary differential equation okay. <coughs> so now the question is why we have to solve ordinary differential equation in general a differential equation numerically why not by other conventional methods analytically that is analytical methods in your first year course first year first semester and second semester we have studied ordinary differential equations and solved by the known analytical methods the differential equations and obtained the solutions so those solutions are nothing but analytical solutions so what you have done you have solved certain ordinary differential equations by known analytical methods and arrived at analytical solutions analytical solutions are the best and are most preferred solutions but 
in practice the differential equations that arise in science and engineering may or may not have analytical solutions if at all there is any possibility of analytical solution the amount of work involved in arriving at analytical solution may be very very huge and not worth attempting in such cases we go for numerical solution by applying the numerical methods what actually we do here eh? what actually we do here we find the value numerical values of y numerical of values of y y y1 y2 etc etc y n we find numerical values at specified equidistant values of the independent variable x at specified equidistant values of x x1 x2 x x yet with the help of the initial given initial value so this is the initial value initial values initial with the given initial values we try to find we try to find the values of the dependent variable y values of the dependent variable initial value with the help of initial values we try to find values of the different uh, dependent variable y1 y2 y m etc etc up to y n at specified equi spaced values of x x1 x2 xn etc etc xn so that the ordered pair so that the ordered pair ordered pair so that the ordered pair xn comma y n for y is equal to 1 to etc y n satisfy the particular solution satisfy the particular solution so with this background let me go to your syllabus and discuss on some of the numerical methods prescribed so let me discuss first the numerical method taylor series method taylor series method taylor series method taylor series So consider the initial value problem. So consider, consider the initial value problem. That is the different ordinary differential equation of first order and first degree. <coughs> dy by dx is equal to power x to power y. With given initial condition, y is y naught at x is equal to x naught. Call this as equation number one. <coughs> Let y is equal to y of x be a continuously differentiable function. Be a continuous, continuous differentiable, differentiable function. Satisfying, satisfying, one 
That means a solution of differential equation one satisfying what? <coughs> okay. Now expand. Expand y of x in terms of Taylor series. In terms of Taylor series around the point, around <coughs> around the point, x is equal to x naught. Around the point, x is equal to x naught. We obtain. We obtain. We obtain. Y of x. Y of x is equal to y at x is equal to x naught plus x minus x naught divided by factorial one into y dash at x is equal to x naught plus x minus x star whole square divided by factorial 2 y double dash at x is equal to x star plus x minus x star whole cube divided by factorial 3 y triple dash at x is equal to x star and so on at x is equal to x star Okay. <coughs> R, this can be written as this can be written as this can be written as can be written as y of x is equal to so I will write y not in place of y of x naught that means y not is y evaluated <coughs> at x equal to x naught. Plus x minus x star divided by factorial one y dash of x star. I will write it as y not dash y not dash. That is y dash first derivative <coughs> calculated at x is equal to x star. Plus x minus x star whole square divided by factorial two y not double dash plus X minus x naught whole cube divided by factorial three into y naught triple dash and so on <coughs> and so on. Okay, now substituting, 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 substituting. X is equal to x one is equal to X naught plus h, x naught plus h. Then x one minus x naught is equal to h. Then, then x one minus x naught is equal to h. That is the interval length. X one minus x naught is equal to h. Then what I must do? What it is here? What I must do? Expression. So then, y of x, y of x is equal to y not, y not. When x is x one, so y of x one, y of x one, y of x one, x is x one here, is equal to y not plus <coughs> x one minus x not is h, h divided by factorial one into y not dash. Then x one minus x naught whole square, that is h square divided by factorial two into y naught double dash. Then this will become h cube h cube divided by factorial three <coughs> into y naught triple dash. Next is h power four by factorial four y naught four etc. 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 Four derivative evaluated at x is equal to x naught etc. 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 So let me count y of x one as y one. That is, 
y at x is equal to x1. Like y naught, y at x is equal to x naught. So y1, y of x1, uh, y1 is y at x is equal to x1. Then similarly, expand now, we get the value of y1 at x is equal to x1. To find y2, what we repeat the same thing. Expanding <coughs> y of x around the point x is equal to x1 in terms of Taylor series and substituting x is equal to x2 is equal to x1 plus h then we get y2 <coughs> so similarly similarly expanding similarly expanding y of x in terms of Taylor series in terms of Taylor series, Taylor series around, around the point, around the point, x is equal to x1 and substituting and substituting x is equal to x2 is equal to x1 plus h x is equal to x2 is equal to x1 plus h <coughs> then we get then then we get then we get y2 y2 is equal to y of x2 y2 y of x2 is equal to y1 plus h by factorial 1 y1 dash plus h square divided by factorial 2 into y1 double dash plus h cube divided by factorial 3 in the y1 triple dash and so again after getting the value of y2 to so find next value y2 so when we make use of the previous value and expand y of x in terms of the Taylor series around the point x is equal to x2 and replacing x by x3 is equal to x2 plus h then we work time a y3 so, so I simply write similarly similarly y3 is equal to <coughs> y at x is equal to x3 is equal to y2 plus h by factorial 1 y2 dash plus h square divided by factorial uh, 2 factorial 2 into y2 double dash plus h cube divided by factorial 3 into y2 triple dash and so on. So we can generalize this. Generalizing in general or generalizing 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 y n plus 1 is equal to y at x is equal to x n plus 1 is equal to y n plus h divided by factorial 1 y l dash plus h square divided by factorial 2 y l double dash plus h cube divided by factorial 3 y l triple dash and so on. This is for n is equal to 0, 1, 2, etc. Okay. Now this formula you have to remember and if you want y1 put 10 is equal to 0 you get y1 <coughs> if you want to calculate y2 put 10 is equal to 1 here you get y2 for y3 put 10 is equal to 2 for y4 put 10 is equal to 3 and so on okay now this need to be remembered okay <coughs> so now okay <coughs> this Taylor series method is applicable only when the derivatives of f of x come away, 
and the derivatives of the products come up by x is and h is small so that the series converges. This method, error series method, works well as long as the successive derivatives because you have to calculate first derivative, first derivative will be given, second derivative, uh, uh, second derivative, third derivative, fourth derivative, etc. etc. Right? Uh, this method works well only when the successive de derivatives of f of x comma y are determined easily. Otherwise, it will become a cumbersome. Okay, lengthy problem. Okay, so let me consider few examples uh, on this Taylor series method. So I need to find 
Y1 first and then Y2 using Taylor's series method. Okay. So let me write down the general uh, generalized formula Taylor series. So from Taylor series, I shall write from Taylor's series from Taylor series <coughs> we have from Taylor series we have yn plus 1 yn plus 1 is equal to yn plus h divided by factorial 1 into yn dash plus h square divided by factorial 2 into yn double dash plus h cube divided by factorial 3 yn triple dash and so on. So call this as equation number 1. Call this as equation number 1. Okay. <coughs> so now to find y1 I have to fix n is equal to 0 in. Eh? So put n is equal to 0 in 1. Put n is equal to 0 in 1. So what do we get? y1 is equal to y0 plus h by factorial by y0 dash plus h square by factorial 2 y naught double dash plus h cube divided by factorial 3 y naught triple dash and so on. So let us just speak ourselves to turn the value and compute. <coughs> okay. So now I need to substitute y naught is given y naught dash I can easily obtain. I need to differentiate y dash this expression eh? twice to get y double dash and y triple dash and calculate at x is equal to x star and substitute here and using the calculator we compute you get the value of y1 at x is equal to x star. So let me do this. Let me do this one. So y dash is given to be x plus y. Then what is y double dash? Let me differentiate first. Let me differentiate first all. <coughs> y double dash is 1 plus y dash. <coughs> Very simple. Then I need third derivative also. So differentiate again is with respect to x. Y triple dash is y double dash. Very simple in this particular problem. So you can uh, <coughs> differentiate any number of times. The fourth derivative is here y triple dash. Fifth is y. Uh, uh, for the uh, fourth derivative and so on. <coughs> okay. okay, so now, now I need to calculate. So y naught dash is x naught plus y naught. What is x naught? So I need this. So I will type y naught is 0. So this is equal to 1. 1 should be substituted here. Okay. Then y naught double dash y naught double dash is 1 plus y naught dash. So 1 plus y naught dash is 1. y naught dash is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then y naught triple dash y naught triple dash is just y naught double dash is just y naught double dash. So y naught double dash is 2. So this is 2. y naught double dash is 2. Now substitute into, so call this as equation number 2. Substitute into, substitute in the equation 2. <coughs> what do you get? We substitute into y1 is equal to y0, y0 is 0, y0 is 0, plus h, h is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 divided by factor 1 is 1, so you can simply write 0 0.1, 0 0.1 into y0 dash, 
y not dash is one, so point one into one plus h square point one whole square divided by factorial two. Factorial two is two into y not double dash. Y not double dash is two plus h cube point one whole cube divided by factorial three is six into y not double dash is two and so on. So if you compute this, if you compute, uh, what do you get using calculators? If you compute this, you get 0 0.110. So use your calculators, don't do manually 110. <coughs> so the value of y at x is equal to x1, that is 0.1, is 0 0.110. So that means, uh, that is, y at x is equal to power 1 point, x1 is point 1.1, 1 1.1 is 1 0.110 point one zero zero. So I can fill this blank now, 0.110. So next I have to co co compute y2. Numerically, the value of y at x is equal to 1.2. So what I have to do? I have to fix n is equal to 1 in 1. And fix n is equal to 1 in 1 and proceed. So I will uh, <coughs> uh, remove this. Okay. <coughs> Good. So I need this. So I will retain. So I will retain this one for my reference. Okay. So put, put n is equal to 1 in 1. What do you get? You get y2. If you carefully substitute y2, so it is very easy to replace or not y1. You get y2. Uh, y1 plus y1 plus h divided by factorial 1 into y1 dash. Now we have to calculate <coughs> y1 dash with respect to this y1. And y calculated at x is equal to x1. At x is equal to x1. <coughs> then plus h square divided by factorial 2 y1 double dash plus uh, h cube h cube divided by factorial 3 factorial 3 into y1 triple dash and answer all this is all this is <coughs> okay. so now <coughs> I need to calculate y1 is this 0 0.1103. What is y1 dash? So y1 dash is equal to x1 plus y1. What is x1? 1.1. 1. 1. 1. What is y1? 0 0.1103. So this should be 1.2103. 1 1.2103. 1 Similarly, y1 double dash, y1 double dash, that is y double dash here, y1 double dash is 1 plus y1 dash, that is 1 plus y1 dash is 1.2103, so this is 2.2103, so this is 2.2103. Okay. This is even y1 double dash. Now similarly, y1 triple dash is uh, y1 double dash. y1 double dash. y1 double dash is 2.2103. So this is also the same thing. 2.2103. Now substitute all these values in 3. Substitute in 3. 
substitute in three <coughs> substitute in the relation three. So what do you get? <coughs> y two. That is y at x is equal to one point two. Y two is y one. Y one is zero point one one zero three plus h point one divided by one. That is point one. I'll write this point one into y one dash. Y one dash is one point two one zero three plus h square point one four square divided by Factor into that is two. Y one double that is two point two one zero three. Two point two one zero three plus eight Q point one one Q by six into Y one triple dash is two point two one zero three again. Two point two one zero three. So I come to this using Q. I can write that. So don't use, don't vanity uh, do it. Use your calculator. So if you compute, you get <coughs> two point point zero point two four two seven. If you compute, you get zero point two four two seven. So uh, <coughs> that is the value of y at x is equal to x two. That is one point two. Is point is zero point two four two seven. So this is zero point two four two seven. Now these are <coughs> to calculate the values of y at a given equi-spaced values of x. Okay. So this completes the problem. Now let me take <coughs> another problem. Problem number two. Problem number two. Second problem. Use Taylor series method. Use. Taylor's series method to approximate y to approximate to approximate y when x is equal to zero point one. Correct to correct to four decimal places four decimal places. Given that given that d y by d x. Is equal to three x plus y square, and y is equal to one. When x is equal to zero, by taking by taking first. By taking first five terms, by taking first five terms of the Taylor series expansion, terms of the Taylor series expansion. By taking the first five terms, so there is a restriction here. How many terms you have to consider? 
that is mentioned in the problem. Okay. Now, for any problem, what we have to do first, we have to write the data, what is given, and that will tell you what is to be done. <coughs> so, in the solution form, the solution form, solution part, given, what is given, y dash is equal to 3x plus y square, 3x plus y square, 3x plus y square, and ok, <coughs> then x star, as I told you, y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0, that means x naught is 0 and y naught is 0. y is equal to 1, y naught and x is equal to x naught, y is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0. <coughs> the next value of x, what you see in the problem is only this value, only this value. So that is your next value. Value of x, what is, what can be seen in the problem is point 0.1 only. So that is your next value. So point 0.1. Uh, so you, we need to calculate y1 at this point. Hmm? <laughs> that is y at x is equal to point 1. Why? Tell us this method by considering first five terms in it of the Taylor's expansion. That is the condition. First. Okay. okay. So now well, h you can easily calculate. So here h is x1 minus x0 is h, x2 minus x1 is h, xn plus 1 minus xn is h. So x1 minus x0, 0.1 minus 0 is equal to h. h is equal to 0.1. Okay, so now we have to write the <coughs> Taylor series. From Taylor series, we have from Taylor series, we have we have uh, <coughs> yn plus 1 is equal to yn plus h divided by factorial 1 yn dash plus h square divided by factorial 2 yn double dash plus h cube divided by factorial 3 into yn triple dash. So, I have to consider first five terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, so 1 more. h power 4 divided by factorial 4, factorial 4, yn 4, etc. Found this is. So, as for the problem, I have considered first five terms. You see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, first five terms. So, I need to calculate four derivative also and substitute here. Okay, so now, to, to find the value y1, I have to fix n is equal to 0 here. So, put n is equal to 0 here, the relation 1. So, what do you get? When n is 0, y1 is equal to y0 plus h divided by factorial 1, y0 dash plus h square divided by factorial 2 into y0 number dash plus h cube divided by factorial 3 into y naught double dash plus h power 4 by factorial 4 y naught 4. Fourth derivative of y naught 4. Y naught 4. Etc. So call this as call this as now let me calculate these derivatives at the point x star. So 3x plus y square is your y dash. <coughs> so y dash is y dash is given to be 3 into x plus y square. <coughs> okay. So let me differentiate this first y double dash is 3 plus 2y into y dash. So differentiation of y square 3 into 1, 3 plus 2 into y 
into y dash right then y triple dash third derivative third derivative so constant 3 is constant so derivative is 0 plus so we have to apply product rule here <coughs> y into y double dash y into differentiation of y dash with respect to x that is y double dash plus y dash into y dash that is whole square y dash is square y dash into y dash that is y dash is square so close the bracket <coughs> is that clear to all of you 0 plus 2 into y differentiation of y dash is y double dash plus y dash into differentiation of y is another y dash so y dash into y dash y dash two. then y4 fourth derivative of y with respect to x is 2 into <coughs> y into y triple dash again product rule here product rule then y dash into y double dash plus y dash into y double dash plus 2 into y dash into differentiation of y dash y double dash into differentiation of y dash y double dash 2 into y dash into differentiation of y dash with respect to x so you get y double dash so this is equal to 2 into y y triple dash so I can add these two 3 into y dash y double dash plus 3 times y dash into y double dash. Now let me calculate let me calculate <coughs> these derivatives at x is equal to x naught. So y naught dash is 3 into x naught 3 into x naught plus y naught square 3 into x naught y naught square <coughs> so x naught is 0 so first term is 0 plus y naught square is 1 so this is 1 so 0 plus y naught square is 1 so y naught dash is equal to 1 y naught double dash y naught double dash is 3 plus 2 into y naught plus y naught dash so this is 3 plus 2 into y naught y naught is 1 y naught dash is also 1 so this is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 is 5 <coughs> then y naught triple dash is 2 into y naught y naught double dash plus y naught dash whole square so this is 2 into y naught is 1 y naught double dash is 5 y naught double dash is 5 y naught dash is 1 so it is 1 square so if you compute this y naught triple dash You get 1. So use calculators to calculate these values. This 12. Then similarly, then similarly, y4 dash y dash 4. Similarly, y naught 4 is 2 into y naught into y naught triple dash y naught triple dash plus y naught three times y naught dash three times y naught dash y naught double dash y naught double dash so this is equal to <coughs> this is equal to two times y naught is one y naught triple dash is 12 plus 3 into y naught dash is 1 then y naught double dash 
is 12. So this is equal to, I get, if you carefully do this, why not double dash is 5? Why not double dash is 5? So if you carefully do this, you get 54. You get 54. Now substitute, substitute in the relation to <coughs> substitute in substitute in to so y1 is y0 y0 is 1 plus h h is 0.1 uh, divided by factor 1 is 1 so you can as well as write 0.1 into y0 dash y0 dash is 1 plus 0.1 all square all square divided by 2 into y0 double dash y0 double dash is 5 5 plus 0.1 whole cube divided by 6 into y0 this is triple dash y0 triple dash is 12 12 plus 0.1 or 4 0.1 or 4 divided by factorial 4 is 24 into 54. 54 as okay. So if you carefully compute this, you get y1 y1 is equal to 1.127 one two seven two. <coughs> that is <coughs> that is that is y at x is equal to point one is equal to one point one two seven so one point one two seven okay so this completes the problem. So only one point we need to remember. <coughs> we are supposed to find y1, eh? well, the value of y at x equal to x1, that is y1 is 1.127. So this completes the problem. So I will come up with few more examples in my next class. Okay? Thank you.